Hello and welcome to tutorial number 23. Uh, today I had an idea to discuss uh, another field, uh, the editor field, which can basically give the user a free area to uh, create any HTML content that has been allowed, of course, on the profile page. So a typical application of uh, such a field could be an about me field where a user has an area to just type anything they want about themselves so in our additional info tab here in the back end let's create a new field okay let's call this about me same name Okay, in type area, let's scroll and find the, hold on, the editor text area, not the text area, the editor text area. Just click that. Okay, uh, no reason to show it on registration, no. I'm not touching this right here, the maximum length, size, columns, and rows. Let's just keep this the way it is. And let's just publish that. Uh, let's put it in the additional info tab, sorry. And save and close. Now, I've installed the JCE editor, which is one of the more popular Joomla editors. Uh, it's free. You can download it and install it. Of course, feel free to donate or get a subscription to support this project. Uh, and I installed that and basically I went to my system global configuration area and just selected it here. That's for starters. I'll probably have to re revisit configuration of JCE and I'll do that in the process of the tutorial. So let's save and close that. Go to my profile. I'm logged in as admin. Let me just click the admin area. And let me edit. And I will see the additional info tab now has an about me field uh, that I can basically type in. Hello, this is my profile. My name is Nick, and I am a member of the Community Builder team on joomlopolis.com, period. Of course, I can style this. Hello, this is my profile. My name is, let's make Nick Bold, Community Builder team on Joomlopolis. I can, I can link Joomlopolis, for example, here. HTTP www.joomlopolis.com Insert. And we just update that now. And if I visit my additional info tab, I see at the end right now this about me information. Oh, one thing I would want to do, I guess, is move this up front, number one. I think I've showed you how to do this in the past. Let's just do it again anyway. Field management. I've already filtered fields, and I want about me. I want to put it on up number one. So I can just say this is one. Let's put that to zero and save. Okay, about me is right on top now. So if I refresh here, I will see the additional info tab and the about me. Now, one thing I also might want to do is give this a little more space. I mean, there's no reason to have the about me, you know, in the left column here. So let's just go back and edit the about me page, uh, field, about me field. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, 
show on profile yes one line with title hmm. how about two lines with title let's see what that looks like save if I refresh see we have the about me title and the text we can even get rid of the about me if, I, if we want to if that makes sense so we can just go here and instead of two lines with title say one line without title save and refresh you see there's no reason to have the about me since the message is uh, clear I guess another thing we can do to make it even clearer is go to our field here update profile and basically we can put all this uh, in a table I guess or better yet just draw a horizontal line here at the end yeah, I don't know if you can see it but it's there let me just save this and now we'll see the line here oh can't see it very well but it's there <laughs> you can change the styling of course of that line I mean the editors there do whatever you want with it now uh, this editor that right now that we've basically enabled is also present when we do a new blog now the cool thing about JCE is that uh, it allows you to upload images so there's an image icon here if I click on that see it'll give me the root structure of my site and so on well I don't want all my users to be able to access all these files so JC has a really cool way of handling this let me just switch to the back end now and go to my JCE editor control panel and basically I look at the profiles here's a default profile I'll just edit this be quick here uh, so default profile one thing I want to do is turn this on for registered users I was logged in as an admin and that's why I saw the editor just fine let's click here number one so now the default profile is also available to registered users and let's just save that so I don't forget and then I go to the actual plugin parameters here and find the image manager here we go now see there's something called here a file directory path uh, what I can do is basically say that I want the file directory pack to be images and then just do a dollar ID now let's see what that looks like let me just save here save go to the front end and actually <coughs> log out from admin just to test that it works for a regular user Okay, and I click here on the profile page now, and uh, I can either do a new blog and see that if I click right now here, I will see he has his own route. So I can upload an image here. Let me just find something to upload for you guys. Browse. Let me just see what I've done here now ops tutorials video blog here I have a nice logo image and we just upload that cool select it keep the alignment the way it is and insert and let's just call here hello this 
is Antonius, I think that's his name here. I can actually click that here and do a alignment to make it left and create the block. Nope, I need a title, sorry. And this is not published yet, so let me just publish it. Looks kind of cool. There we go. So we have the image here. Of course, we can edit this. Uh, sorry, let me go back and edit it. Or let me just not even edit it. Just go to update my profile and do the additional info about me. I am, I love, I love Community Builder. And let me just go here and click the image label. You see it remembers what I uploaded. Click that, insert. Let's just center everything here. There we go. And save. Additional info. I love Community Builder. Okay, I think this gives you an idea of how you can use JC with Community Builder. And you can even give people this very nice uh, editor field in their profiles. One thing we need to remember is that both Community Builder and the editor, perhaps, will block various HTML tags for security reasons, and they won't allow things. Community Builder has a setting here in the configuration. User profile at the very end is something saying exclude tags from filtering. So it gives you a list here in the tooltip. You can read which tags are actually filtered, and you can actually put those in your exclude list if you want people, for example, to be able to embed a frame in their profiles. But you have to actually turn that on manually once from this particular configuration setting. And you might also want to check with your editor. The editor might also have a similar list that you would need to adjust. OK, I think that uh, covers some key topics here on using HTML in your profiles and how to do that with the JC editor. Joomla, unfortunately, does not have such a flexible editor yet. But JC is free, and so is Community Builder. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.